everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm currently here in the Undercroft because this is where I did my inventory management, so I I clean out my inventory and yeah, apparently I cannot cannot jump down there. <laughs> but um yeah, we, we have lots of stuff to do. If we I have lots of stuff to do, we just a blood groove. <laughs> we have lots of stuff to do. We just came back from um Adamant Fortress and our little adventure in the Fade. And of course, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is... Um, is there a bedroll down there? Wh who who's actually sleeping there? <laughs> anyway, the first thing that I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to talk to all of my companions and um, see what they have to say about that. And uh, after that I have some plans for the next uh, few episodes. First of all, um, I will go to the Exalted Plains and get my specialization. That's the first big thing that I want to do after I've finished talking to everyone. Um, I also still need to finish the Western Approach. And I think um, this will actually be the episode, as I mentioned earlier, where I'm going to talk a little bit about the game so far. Which is also why I'm not going to um, talk a lot about the previous mission now, because I'm, I'm going to do this in this episode when I come back here to uh, clean up the desert. <laughs> and I also uh, finally want to start doing some companion missions. Now, um, we have a few already from Cassandra, uh, from Dorian, I think. These are actual missions, not those, you know, collect stuff missions. <laughs> and we have one from Solus, which actually takes us to the Exalted Plains as well. So I guess I'm going to do this first uh, when I when I get there. And yeah, uh, that's that's basically my plan for the next episodes. But um, before we're going to do anything else, let's uh, return to the war room and see our mission reports. And then we will start to... Uh, and yeah, look look at this place. Look at this place. The, the scaffolding is finally gone and it looks it looks amazing. It looks it looks really amazing. And apparently I can examine my new decor. I think this is the Ferelden one. I may try different decors from time to time. Um, just just to see how it looks like. Now this is a hall worthy of the Inquisition. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, this this looks so much better. Anyway, let's uh, check the war council first. First in chant of Vivienne wishes to register a complaint about the upholstery in the dining <laughs> hall. I've already told her we cannot replace it with velvet right now. It is a little worn. <laughs> Come on, we just we just got a new new hall. We can't we can't do everything at once. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's see uh, the mission that we started before we headed out to Adamant. Oh yeah, and it looks like we actually have a bunch of new missions too. Okay, let's uh, accept the old ones first. Inquisitor, we located the poor mad soul claiming that Corypheus is the true herald of Andraste. She is no venatory agent, but a woman driven out of her wits by what she witnessed at Haven. Several refugees were with her. All have been brought to Skyhold, where they now see the folly of this Chantry sister's claims. They are eager to lend the Inquisition their support. Mother Giselle is grateful that we were able to bring the sister back safely. She remembers a young Chantry sister and describes her as gifted, as gifted but fragile. She hopes that with care and patience the woman may return to herself. Ambassador Montelier. Uh, for some reason I thought that, that uh, Liliana wanted to kill her, but apparently she did not. <laughs> okay, that, that worked out pretty well. Um, deal with the angry Vargas. Yeah, it's done. The roads are safe. Haven't seen a Vargas in some time. Griffin Wing will keep growing. Right. Okay. <laughs> Killed the Vargas. And yeah, we uh, sent her to gather some material. And yeah, there are definitely some new 
New missions around Crestwood here, has so. had no further trouble with the undead. After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. Yeah, that's that's true. Red Templars on the Storm Coast. Cost four. This is something that I can do with power. Reports indicate that Red Templars have taken over an old dwarven port on the Storm Coast, granting them a foothold in Ferelden as well as an easy access to the Waking Sea. The port itself provides a strong defense from outer attack. A full assault by our soldiers might eventually yield result, but not without high casualties. A smaller group may have better luck infiltrating their stronghold. We do not want to draw attention to soon. My agent will find a way to enter the stronghold without alerting the Red Templars. Small initial attacks could secure the surrounding area and distract the Templars from our larger plan. Yeah, let's, let's have Liliana do this. Our agents have acquired access to the Red Templar's foothold on the Storm Coast. The Templars feel themselves secure. It's time to prove them wrong. Oh, I wonder if this is the door in the cave that I couldn't open. Because there was some red lyrium and I couldn't reach it. And if the Red Templars are there, then it would make sense that they... Um, no, not, not, not now. Okay, so I, I may actually have to return to the Storm Coast at some point as well. Alright, let's have a look at all these missions now. Alliances, getting things moving. Many of the nobility of the Olesian capital have settled their secondary differences and are rallying behind two families. The De Rosiers are old money, well respected but viewed as traditional and stubborn. The Thibaults rose with a popular merchant consortium and are considered new money and progressive. While the intent of both families was to rival us politically, if we declare for one of them, we may manipulate events in our favor. Lord Pierre de Rosier has not asked for our allegiance, but may respect our rising might. Lady Velise Sibold speaks for investors and is interested in forward-thinking alliances. Mm -hmm. I can draw a number of agreements that tie us to little beyond ceremony that will gain the initial interest of the Thibaults. We certainly have the forces, that is a simple demonstration to make to the De Rosiers. <laughs> well, I mean, Freya is pretty forward-thinking, so I guess we are going for these guys, right? At your service. Let's say Josephine on this. Uh, those are just uh, resources. The College of Magi. The situation is unfolding in the Navarran city of Cumberland, location of the College of Magi, which, until the outbreak of the Mage Rebellion, was the philosophical heart of the Circles of Magi. Now mostly abandoned, it has become the home to a number of mage refugees. This has drawn the ire of local citis citizens, and mobs are threatening to assault the college and burn, burn it to the ground, with Duke San Sandral and Naxus doing nothing to stop them. Inquisition agents suspect that Venatory agents are behind the mobs looking to recover artifacts from the college once its magical defense are breached. Use diplomacy with Duke Sandral. He must be convinced to intercede. We should send in agents to evacuate the college. They can be brought to Skyhold along with the artifacts. Send a force to occupy the college. We can protect the innocent and recover anything useful. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's to work. send Cullen on this mission. And now we need something for uh, Liliana. A report from one of Cullen's forward scouts. Sightings in the north of Red Templars with armor and weapons adorned with dwarven runes. There are no known entrances to the deep roads in that area, and no missives from Ozama about missing traders, but they keep next to non-existent rec records of surface dwarves. The Venatori may be making use of Dwarven slaves, possibly from Tevinter. Not their usual preference, but also not the first unusual thing they have done. Recommend further investigation in force. The local landholders will get our scouts access, but will likely require additional incentive to risk their forces against Venatori. Send a select group to observe. We don't want to alarm the Venatori. We know they are all too willing to sacrifice their captives. That's a good point. If there's a hint of Venatory en of a Venatory enclave, especially one supplying weapons, we need to crush it. <laughs> um No, I think I think I like Liliana's approach. Let's have a look at them first and then decide what to do. Let's so, see what we, we have. 
And yep, everyone is busy. Okay, so um, now we need to talk to people. Now we need to talk to people and see what they have to say. And I mean, Josephine is right around the corner. So I guess we can start with her. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. <laughs> I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Olay. It's devastated our finances. The Montelier's have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. <laughs> I'm not giving you a loan. <laughs> I, I, I don't think she was asking me for money. <laughs> I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, certainly there are people who are, you know, really poor uh, compared to you, right? Most people worry about their next meal, never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams, my brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? <laughs> well, well, I, I, I can understand that you want to take care of your family, so can I help you with that? Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, I've just learned my carriers were murdered. Hmm. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Yeah, who, who would go to that trouble? Who hates the Montilliers enough to do that? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boivere, a nobleman in Val Royaux, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. <laughs> and what will that get him? What will being seen with me gain the Count? The Count will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and <laughs> rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Count will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. So he he just wants to <laughs> look like he's kind of involved with the Inquisition and knows the Herald of Andraste. Um, yeah, sure. If it helps, I'll go. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means <laughs> you are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Yeah, I can I can understand that. So, um I, I'm guessing this is uh, a companion quest for Josephine, yes, yes it is. Alright, very nice, very nice. I wanted to go back to Val Royo at some point anyway and uh do some shopping. I mean after that harrowing experience in the fate we definitely need to do some shopping, right? To <laughs> get get other ideas uh in our head. And yeah, apparently I can judge somebody. Ah, let's do this later. I really want to talk to my companions first, and yeah, um, I think I really have to talk to Varric because uh, Worship. he just he just lost a friend. I'm so sorry, Varric. Did I ever tell you about the time Hawk was on a merchant guild hit list? <laughs> Hawk's uncle got into an investment scheme with a couple of merchant cast businessmen. They took a lot of people's coin in order to arrange the import of wandering hills from the Anderfells. A, a delicacy, <laughs> I'm told. Their weird foreign foodstuffs arrived alive, and one of them, true to its name, 
wandered off in the middle of the night. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think he can can use a hug. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Barry. <laughs> The guild uh, traced the shipments to Hawk's uncle, but uh, as usual, he was so far in debt he couldn't see daylight. So they went after Hawk instead. They sent guys from the local Carter to Hawk's estate one night. Five big dusters, armed to the teeth. They kick in the door, and Hawk yells, You're just in time! <laughs> and drags them over to a game of Wicked Grace. They played two hands of cards before the city guard showed up to take them away. A couple of them became regulars in our weekly game. Hawk oh, just had that effect yeah. on people. I, I always wanted to tell that one. Thanks. I guess I've got some letters to write. Isabella should know. Excuse me. Yeah, Isabella. To be honest, this this. This right now was actually much, much sadder than the actual act of sending Hawk to die for some reason. This was really heart wrenching. Are you are you okay, Varric? Sorry, I really need to write some letters. Another time, all right? No, it's fine. It's fine. Go write your letters, and um, we can we can talk again another time. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. Do I want to continue with my guys inside? Maybe let's talk to Solus next. Where are you? Over there. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. <laughs> to seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. Well, you're really angry. <laughs> And calling the army of demons. That's my favorite part. <laughs> the demons are nothing. They're a tool. A tool that would have let Corypheus ride roughshod over most of Orlais. Even if they hadn't, the entire idea is wrong. The Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is... <laughs> unnerving. Yeah, it was... It was a bad idea, but I'm not sure why you are so upset about it. Hello. Um... Uh, tell me about your journey. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Uh, tell me about old ruins. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven taig no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay. The victims of a darkspawn horde. Their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle. One small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. <laughs> Interesting. Tell me about spirits. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walks the Fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great for Elden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. <laughs> Okay, uh, tell me about old memories. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I thought them from the blazing light, until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. All right, thank you. Goodbye. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Yeah. Also, I actually think he has continued his his drawings. Hmm. Yeah, those are some some pretty interesting pictures, and I think this is the newest one. I mean, that that's a Grey Warden shield, right? Anyway, let's let's continue and talk to. My other guys. So, Dorian, what's your angle on all of this? You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. 
All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. <laughs> but if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a critic. And that's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. <sighs> if Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. <laughs> what is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Hmm. Are you... All right? Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, but yeah, we, we lost Hawk. That's the saddest part of it. Hawk is gone. <laughs> the Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there... Beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand <laughs> years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. <laughs> I wish you'd been there. <laughs> it's funny that I can still flirt with him. It would have been easier if you'd been with me. Without question. <laughs> but I'm rather glad I wasn't. No sense of adventure? That's surprising. I've not your talent for survival. <laughs> and not everyone is as discerning as I. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. Um... <laughs> That's, that's actually a good point. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... <laughs> this I don't need. What I do okay. need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. All right. Good luck with that. The name of our enemy operation available. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I think I can turn in some creature research items. Um, by the way, since I've been asked about this, I usually do this off camera, but um, I, I do turn in my stuff. Anyway, let's go and talk to Liliana, I guess. Um, she's over here. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven. The Fade. Escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But... Huh. Only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? <laughs> I had to save myself. Um, yeah, I guess she did save me. She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? <laughs> Please, if you remember. Um, well, she didn't say anything that was particularly addressed to you, so sorry, no. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. Hmm. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Uh, I guess she's she's hit really hard by this again. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, Liliana. Okay, um, I think I... Right, Vivienne is over here as well, so let's go and speak with her. Um, I know there is a door somewhere around here. <laughs> it is, it is. Okay, Vivienne? You walked physically through the Fade. Please tell me what you remember. Mm. It wasn't the first time. Yeah, I saw the Divine and my past. I had... visions. Echoes of what happened to me the first time. The Divine was there, or something like her. Manifestations of your own mind, perhaps? Or external <laughs> memories awakened by your presence? I suppose there's no way to tell. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now. <laughs> You're envious? <laughs> yeah, I, I already asked her that, so never mind. She doesn't have anything else to say, apparently. Let's jump down here and uh, move on to the next. I mean, Cassandra is usually out here, so maybe we can talk to her now. All right, Cassandra. Let's talk. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. <laughs> it's 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 interesting that I can still flirt with other people, but I mean, Cassandra wouldn't be an option anyway. And like I said, I suspect that Dorian isn't either. So these flirt options actually wouldn't wouldn't lead anywhere. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. <laughs> that look. <laughs> I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. <laughs> it's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes grace. You don't think you have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I wasn't there, but others were. Their accounts must be recorded. Um... Hmm. Well, it's always good to preserve uh, history in, 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 in that way, so yeah, that's a good idea. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so. Until I started writing. <laughs> I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her. Yet even so. <laughs> so you think it's possible? Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost? A remnant of her hopes and memories, her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it doesn't really matter what she was exactly. Perhaps it doesn't matter what she really was, then. It matters to me, to what I must write. <laughs> I wish I'd seen her, seen it. I feel so inadequate trying to interpret. Well, I guess then I should have taken you along to that mission. Uh, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really know uh, what she was. The fate was kind of confusing, as always. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor mm -hmm. reading. When they told me you were physically in the Fade, I was terrified for you. <laughs> the last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. Yeah, I totally agree to that. I agree to that. Um, oh, I'm in the smithy now, okay. 
uh, yeah, let's uh, continue our tour. Uh, yeah, let's go into the tavern and speak to my guys in here. Oh, Grey Warden, did you we have a new song? Have you I'm pleased done? to hear it. The oath you have taken <laughs> is all but broken. Thank you. All is undone. Demons have come it to destroy so. this peace we have had for so long. Ally or foe, make She's really quick at uh, composing new songs, isn't she? <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, let's talk to Commander Cullen Williams. did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. <laughs> nice job with the demons, by the way. Uh, how can we use Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the charges? You sealed the main rift at Adamant, but the fortress is still a mess. Demons, darkspawn, making knows what. I can take Rocky out there with some of the boys. They know how to bring down walls. We can't close rifts, but we can bury the bastards under a ton of rubble. <laughs> All right, we'll talk later. Okay, another operation. All right, Iron Bull. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Oh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> bad, bad choice, <coughs> bad choice. <laughs> Perhaps you can take over. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I Unari training that. exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. Yeah, it, it was pretty big. But tell me about this exercise first. Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words, though. <laughs> Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. Yeah, sure. Let's let's hit him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? That's right, let it out, let it out. <laughs> you fought in that siege. Every demon at Adamant wanted to tear you in half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you demon assholes! Uh, and who killed you? Uh, that's right, Iron <laughs> Fucking Ball! Uh, oh, oh, I needed that. Uh, thanks, boss. <laughs> Not for that. <laughs> uh, feeling better. And that works for you. <sighs> yep. <sighs> All right then. <laughs> Whatever works, works, you know. Um, and now I'm outside here again. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, sure. Let's let's talk to Sarah as well, and maybe then we want to end I the episode. Oh, we can probably... Um, oh, by the way, Sutherland. Um, Those blighted nugs won't infect anything now. Shade, thanks for joining in on that escort for Lady Montillier. Whatever. She's great, right? Apparently Sutherland has picked up another member. <laughs> Training hard, Inquisitor. You have the best people, and we're gonna help. Yeah, I got an operation from that. That's, that's great. That's great. You heard what I did out there. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's talk to Sarah. Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on? Can't even start to believe that business. <laughs> um, yeah, it it was a difficult time for everyone. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Hawk, yeah? Lost a champion. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're <laughs> always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. 
but wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. Mm. That's called planning ahead. Uh, well, what do you remember? A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The <laughs> hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. <laughs> that was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's <laughs> nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Yeah, Blackwall. Blackwall's okay. Blackwall's alright. Uh, yeah, sure. Let, let's go to talk to, uh, to Cole as well, and I think then we can end this episode and um, we will continue the remaining ones later. I mean, it's not that much remaining. It's Cullen no, it and was. Blackwall. I don't know. And I think that's it. No. But you like demons. <laughs> I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. <laughs> not always true. Yeah. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. What's going on here? He won't bind about? me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Uh, <laughs> what, what's, what's wrong here? Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. Um... Yeah, I guess it's true for everyone. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then <laughs> someone can bind him. <laughs> that that's not how it works, Cole. That's not how it works. Um. Yeah, I'm sure we can figure something out. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind Cole with blood magic. Yeah. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Raveni seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. All right, all right. So, obtain amulet for Cole operation available. Um, I guess this is another companion mission for Cole. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of them. That's very nice because I definitely want to do a few companion missions before I um, continue with the next main mission, which is the one with the Empress. Um, so yeah, I think I think this is a good time to end the episode. I think I've spoken to everyone except um, except uh, Cullen and Blackwall. So I'm going to do that in the next episode. And after that, we will head out and try to get the specialization for Freya. And once I have given her her specialization, I may also do some respecting, not only of her, but my other companions as well. And I think after that, we can, we can maybe tackle uh, the first companion mission. So, yeah, thank you for watching and see you again next time.